The average wait time in Ontario emergency rooms has hit a new record high. New data from Health Quality Ontario reveals patients spent an average of over 21 hours waiting to be admitted to hospital in September. That is up from 20.7 hours in August and 20.8 hours in July. Of those patients, the data shows only about 23% were admitted within the provincial target time of eight hours. Joining us now for more is Dr. Kashif Persada, emergency physician who joins us today from Toronto. Dr. Persada, always a pleasure to talk to you. And uh, we want to get to some of the tweets that you've been putting out there uh, to give people perspective about the situation currently in hospitals. But first of all, let's talk about uh, the severity of the crisis you're seeing in hospitals right now. So what's happening right now is there's a massive surge of young children uh, being admitted to hospitals, young children coming in for ER visits. So about three times higher than we normally see this time of year. The cause is unknown. It's mysterious. We're not sure. Maybe COVID is a factor, but the viruses are, you know, RSV, flu, uh, COVID is one of them. But it's causing immense strain on the system that's already understaffed under stress. Uh, on top of that, there is an Advil and Tylenol shortage, and that's an antibiotic shortage, and that's making things a lot worse. And Dr. Prasada, I want to read out that tweet that we just flashed up on the screen. We're going to bring it up once again for our viewers. You said, if you are an adult without kids and do not think this hospital crisis affects you, think again. In the ER, we have had to choose between an adult with a heart attack or a six-month-old child struggling to breathe for our last critical care bed. The baby will get that bed every single time. Can you expand on this? Talk to us about those decisions that you've had to make in the ER. So what's happening right now is that I walk into a typical shift. Every bed is occupied um, by admitted patients who ha don't have room upstairs to go. We usually only have a few beds to work with. And then an ambulance uh, bay lined up uh, down the hall, maybe with 10 people waiting for a critical bed. Um, if we had to pick and, you know, it's maybe it's happening and maybe it'll happen. Um, if between two critical patients, we will always take the child over an adult. And that's that's established protocols out there. And unfortunately, because of the stresses on the system, these kinds of choices are happening more and more. Um, you're having people waiting significant amount of time in ambulance bays, waiting for beds. Um, and it's, it's not good for anybody right now. And I think we have the tools in our hands to really act to slow this whole crisis down. Um, but our governments, it's like going on the 401 highway without wanting to use your brakes um, because you're too afraid that people will be offended. I think it's it's something governments need to um, slow down with all the tools that they have, including mask mandates in schools. Right, let's talk a little bit more about that because that is currently under debate whether or not places like Toronto, um, uh, universities, uh, we've seen some universities bringing back mask mandates in Ontario. Uh, whether or not we need to expand that conversation. Uh, talk to us a little bit more about that and the tools you're referring to. So one thing is like um, is if you when you we have the data right now to tell us something is wrong um, that you know if you look at the the curves from public health that are being published showing pediatric admission rates it's almost like a vertical line up right now that is a dangerous signal to us that we need to do something differently and that's you know no one likes masks uh, they're very inconvenient it's hard for children especially but when facts change on the ground when circumstances change on the ground when an emergency is in front of us. We have to consider options like this again. You know, COVID-19 is not going anywhere. It's still with us. A lot of other viruses are with us now. Um, and it's presenting us with a crisis right now where we need to do things differently. And um, that's, that's on the government to really be proactive and act on it. Okay, Dr. Kashif Prasad, emergency room physician, joining us today. Thank you, as always, for your time and your insight.